Hello and welcome back to Sky Bees. We are here in what is near <laughs> the end. <laughs> so last episode we were working on this uh, fission uh, reactor to get some nuclear waste, and uh, we were I think it's just, I think it was sulfuric acid is what we were trying to get to, and then uh, the where is it at? It was this weird uh, so sulfur. Uh, sulfuric acid. Yeah, there was this, not that one, this one, the item to gas. And I made a few of these different machines and none of them actually do this. So I have no idea what this whole tab is. But uh, since there's no book in game, I looked on the wiki for uh, for this and I found the, where is it? It's like this one. Yeah, the rotary condenser <laughs> creates water vapor. And then water vapor uh, is used to, or is it sulfur trioxide? I think this is the one. Yeah, uh, uh, one of these. It's, it's 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 a whole thing, right? So we needed water to go in here, and we're gonna need uh, I think two more machines here, and then we're gonna need another one here, and that'll get fuel into the the system, and then we'll need another one uh, to get. Uh, they waste out of the system. So uh, let's see where we were here. We have the fluoride going there. So that is water vapor into a chemical infuser. So is this giving us water vapor? Yes. Okay. There we go. So we need to send where is the chemical okay we need a chemical infuser probably like right here uh chemical infuser i should have probably made a bunch of <laughs> a bunch of stuff uh i just I, I i've been trying to like figure it out on my own right is is really what i want to do i don't i since there's no book i'm using the, the wiki but i don't want to like go watch another video of you know how to do this so trying my best to do it this way okay this one Let's see what is this here this is what is this fluid okay that's a gas isn't it vapor sounds like a gas let me make sure nope that is a uh that's a fluid okay so Let's change that to output and then this needs to be fluid input I got my app to look on the machine here oh it doesn't even take in <laughs> it doesn't take in fluids what the hell all right so we got orange here so this is water vapor which is what is this this is a mechanical pipe, which does that. Where is my tube? I mean, is it... There we go, that worked. So this needs to be a uh, input. So I can't change the input on that. So that's a push, and that's a pull. And then gases. I'm assuming that's the front of the device. So this needs to be input orange. That's right. Let's give this thing power. That is a plug. Uh, let's get a point. There, we got a bunch of points from when we made those, uh, what you call it? I don't want it in the front. Oh, son of a gun. My uh, pickaxe is so strong that it just destroys everything. All right, there we go. We got power to this thing, right? All right, he's got power. Uh, why is that not coming out? All right, let's set this one to pull, maybe? No. Your pull, your push. That completely went away. Let's do that again. There we go. So your front of this one is 
So that is the right is output. Okay. Gases should be output. There we go. That's going in there finally. The most configurable machines in the world, I must say. Okay, so now, <laughs> now that we have, uh, we have, uh, what is it, water vapor, we need to get the sulfur, uh, sulfur dioxide and oxygen. Okay, oxygen comes from water inside of a electronic separator. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and make an uh, electronic separator. Go ahead and craft all that. There we go, got that. So we need another water node, which we can just put like right here. Move this torch. So that's a pipe. What is this? Tubes. Where's our pipes? Right here. So we can just uh, carry off that. All right. Now we're getting hydrogen and oxygen. So we need... This one right here. Water vapor, so this is oxygen. So we need another chemical infuser to feed into that one. Jeez, this is so complex. Chemical infuser. I'm gonna laugh if there's like a trivial way and someone points out on the video that I could have just done such and such and it would have uh, worked. Okay, so this one goes like right there. So this, I need to get the oxygen. So oxygen is that one, which is gas. And I need cyan to go on the right. That's the front, that's, no. Let's see here. Gases, energy, slurries, gases, all right. So this needs to be output. There we go, that's right. And we need a tube. And then this needs to become, oh, I can't, uh, there we go. This is gonna become output, input, input, okay. Can't tell if anything's flowing in there. Let's put a point on top of this thing. All right. Hydrogen. So it looks like there's no, uh, oh, the oxygen went into the wrong spot, I believe. Maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe they can be other side. So now we need sulfur dioxide which is a chemical oxidizer did i make one of those already no chemical oxidizer uh there it is let's go ahead and craft all that okay so this goes here uh we might need to make a bigger platform here all right so This is going to be item input. There we go. Item input, output, input. There we go. So we can go here, grab a exporter. Going to export off of that. Grab some cables. There we go. And we're going to export sulfur. Do we already have sulfur on us? It is sulfur, right? Sulfur dust gives us sulfur dioxide. Okay. So we're going to do that. And we're going to need a point. Which gives us sulfur dioxide. 
Sulfur dioxide goes in with oxygen, makes sulfur trioxide. So the oxygen is already in here. So this is going to need to be here. This should be, is this, is this a gas? Uh, sulfur dioxide. That doesn't tell me if it's a gas or a liquid. So let's just assume oxygen is a gas and this is going to be a gas. Since it doesn't say liquid oxygen, so this is going to become input. And we're going to take to there and then that goes in there and we have oxygen uh, input orange that's right that should be producing and sending But it's not producing. So it's negative, negative, plus. That should be producing. All right, this one is water vapor. Where's water vapor? Water vapor plus sulfur trioxide. So that is another. This needs to be a gas. And output. There we go. And then... Yeah, that should work. I don't know why it's not. Uh, so we got hydrogen coming in here. Or oh, the hydrogen's still in there from that getting let's see gases input input where are we that's the front so that's input that's input that's output Confused. Can I see what's in the pipe? Okay, there's sulfur dioxide in here. Just not a lot of it. You know what we need? We need upgrades. So let's do energy upgrade, speed upgrades, muffling upgrades. Let's just grab a bunch of this nonsense. And let's just make this stuff... Uh, stuff a little bit faster. Might be easier to figure out what we're missing at that point. I oh, should probably get these mufflings. It only, it only takes four muffling to silence these things. Get that one going. All right, so now that we've sped them up, see how it's generating a lot more oxygen. So that's input, orange is right. By looking at the machine right, that's the only thing I wish I knew, could tell easier. What is the front? So there's a lot in here. So maybe if I go like that, pull. And then this should go back to input orange. No. All right, let's kill that. All right, so chemical infuser, what does it look like? 
All right, so this is the front and this is the uh, side. So let's let's just change that. There we go. So this should be okay. Now we have the sulfur dioxide in. So this should be uh, the. That one. There we go. That should give us... I should give us oxygen. Where is it? Do we have oxygen in this tube here? No, we have nothing in this tube. Let's get, uh... Let's get more speed upgrades, just to kind of make this a little bit faster. Oh, I, I see the problem now. <laughs> Is anybody else? I forgot to put power on this thing. There we go. Now it's full of hydrogen, which we need to get rid of. Uh, hydrogen is a gas, so we're going to put it... Alright, what color is it? That is blue. A blue... Yeah, there we go. Blue output. And then what can we do with that gas? Is there like a gas tank we can make? Okay, there's a creative chemical tank. How do we make that? Creative fluid tank. Uh, I guess maybe there isn't a... Uh, gas tank we can make. I just typed gas and all I got was creative stuff. Oh, so we're getting, what, what can we do with hydrogen, I guess? Hydrogen. What's the use for it? Chlorine to make hydrogen. No, hydrogen? Hydrogen chlori chloride. What is that used for? shards it's kind of cool a lead clump <laughs> okay this is like a go out of your way uh method all right um what is it what are these called chemical tanks chemical all right there has to be a There's an ultimate chemical tank. Is there any use for that? So there is no way to make a... Uh, a creative one. So is there like a void? Can I just throw it into like some kind of nebulous? Any item? Trash void, mana void... Tank. It's gotta be something dimensional tank. Black hole tank. Advanced black hole tank. Can I pump this into like a black hole tank? Quantum tank. So I've been using quantum tanks for a lot of things. I wonder if I can put gas into this thing. Let's just pop it down right there. And then this needs to become push, but I guess it does not connect. There, let's see what we're going here. Goes in there. We have, well, we have the sulfuric acid at this point. Let's just go where that goes. Uh, sulfuric acid. Where are we taking this? Condense it now. It was going into this one, right? Uranium oxide. So it needs to go. Acid is a liquid, so it needs to go up this way. 
So, where is my pipe? Go like this. There we go. So, this one needs to become liquid input. Uh, what color is it? Red. Come on. Why can't I click on that one? Uh, gases. Oh, is it a gas? Okay, well. <laughs> uh, I guess we need to treat it as a gas. I thought sulfuric acid was a liquid, but... Maybe I'm wrong. So we need a tube. That tube connects just fine. Uh, we don't want this connection. How do I get rid of that connection? And I think that... Good, that didn't mess it up. So well, we gotta kill this whole uh, pipe. Since it's full of uh, the wrong liquid. So this needs to become... What color is that? Blue? Blue output? It's a gas. So blue output, which gives us sulfur trioxide. We're gonna have to make this red input, right? There, we can just do that. Take our tube up there. In theory. And that has a All right, so that's sulfur trioxide, sulfur, sulfuric acid. What's in this tube? That's sulfuric tri. That's the wrong one. That's the wrong acid. The wrong fluid. Just, uh, they don't remember, do they? Maybe this one is the one I had to break. All right, let's just put one right there. See what? See what's in there? Sulfuric acid. All right, that's what the problem was. I didn't break that one, so it didn't. Uh, that okay? Sulfuric acid's going in here, creating hydrochloric acid, which is creating uranium. Hexafluoride. All right, we're getting there. Uranium hexafluoride in the first device creates the fuel. The one we made oh so long ago, and we'll just pop that down right here, and then this is millibucket. So I'm gonna go with that being a. Uh, A gas. No, it's not, is it? Here, let's change this to blues output, right? That is already blues output. Is it really a gas? I just feel weird pumping that out as a gas, right? Yep. Uranium hexafluoride, right there. All right, let's just move this thing. And pop it down right there. Which is creating our fissile fuel, which will go... I mean, that has to be... Right? Can it only come out? Alright, what is this? This is red, this is blue. This is, uh, go liquids. Okay, so there is no liquid, it's a gas. So this needs to be blue's output. I can hit the right angle there. Maybe it has to connect right here. Like so. Now that is... What is this? This is a pipe. 
We need tubes. This is just weird. But whatever. I mean, we'll get it going. Alright, let's, uh, I think we have to craft more tubes. I'll craft 64 of those. Oh my gosh, this is quite a, quite a little, uh, production we got going on here. <laughs> and... I guess this tube here can just hold enough uh, fluid that it doesn't even bother it. So it's not going to go into that container. So while that, those are crafting, let's see if we can find anything to... You know what we could do? Uh, was it? Chemical tank, right? Uh, basic elite? I don't have these in my... Uh, these are my system, so I can't auto craft them, can I? All right, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to deal with that. Uh, let's put a was that a tube? Let's grab some more tubes, and we'll just make another another few tubes, and it'll uh, kind of solve the problem for us, if you know what I mean. Like so, and then. Each of these will have to hold, or never mind. I guess it's not each block holding it. All right. So, what is this configured as? This output right there. But output, output is blue, and we're gonna take a tube up to here, and looks like there's four hundred millibuckets of fluid in there that's all okay what why is it not producing oh again I forgot to power it all right so that's going here at 400 still all right let's uh grade want energy upgrades speed upgrades go ahead and craft me like a bunch of those or energy upgrades let's throw that in there all that can go we'll just there we go so speed upgrades can we I guess we can Go in there, speed upgrades. Alright, you're all sped up. You're all sped up. You're all sped up. Effectively, we want to have enough, uh, <laughs> enough speed upgrades in these things that they can keep up. Power isn't an issue, so the energy that they consume is not a something I'm going to be concerned about at the moment, but having them being able to keep up with the uh, cooling that is required for this, uh, this stuff is really where it bothers me. And then the sound doesn't matter because we're not going to be here, even though I've put a few muffling in already. All right, I think... I think that's all of them, right? Now what do we got going on over here? That's just our importer. So if we look at this, we still only have 400. Alright. Again. Again. <laughs> That's not the input for the power for this thing. Where is the power? Power goes up top, maybe? Nope. Is this power? There we go. Power's that contraption. Alright, so... Now we have... Yeah, we're getting fuel now. Okay, so the temperature is 300k. Alright, so we're gonna have to have... A nuclear waste... Output. Which is gonna have to be... 
I don't know what it is. <laughs> Waste heat coolant tank. All right, let's go to nuclear waste. All right, this is steam. So steam is going to come out of this thing. All right, steam. Am I making steam? Am I like, there's water vapor, water vapor. That's just like constantly out. So what can we do with steam? I think I looked that up already, right? All right, f fizz, yeah, the fusion reactor come, come, brings it out. Liquid flowing steam can go. There's not much I can do with steam. <laughs> <laughs> just kind of, I need, I need some kind of, uh, way to just get rid of this stuff. I'm guessing chemical tanks, but putting lots of chemical tanks over and over again is going to be, uh, kind of annoying here. Let's, uh, let's go back and make, uh, let's make, uh, the recipes for those chemical tanks so I don't have to keep doing those subcombines. All right, uh, pattern. Chemical tank, we already have the basic, so the next one is the advanced. And then elite. And then the ultimate. It's creative, but it doesn't show a recipe for it <laughs> unfortunately all right so I should have room in one of these right, why do we have torches on us in the first place get rid of those and I'm like completely out of room here I mean I could just remove stuff right but it's the fun in that all right, let's make a crafter. Got to be in the crafting panel, I guess. All right, we have 64 crafters. So why not? More than we'll ever need, I think, for the rest of this, but good to have. So first one, let's just drop all those in there, and then we're going to want to have uh, speed upgrades in these. Those, and let's craft a bunch more of those. There we go. So now we can go ultimate. And ultimate crafting tank. Let's just make 64 of those. All right, now we can head back. That's all we really wanted to do. Let's get those crafted up. And this is gonna be a little bit longer. Uh, I wanna actually get this <laughs> this done in part two here. This, I think we have it there. And if I just need to add a bunch of tanks, cause I mean, we only have to do this. Oh shit. Look at that guy. He's not coming over here. So I need I need to put some torches down. I bet it's the top of the building that's not a uh, it's not lit. There we go. There we go, that's lit now. Drop torches everywhere that we. I don't see like a spot, right? I don't know. I've been having weird, weird mob spawns in just random spots, even though they're lit up. All right, so we have all that going. 
We have 15,000 fuel. All right. So we need to, are those chemical tanks done? All right, these don't actually uh, stack. So we need to get the steam out. Um, that's gonna be a gas, I bet. So let's go like this, and then go up. So we kind of get around all this nonsense, and then like right here should be fine. And then we're going to output. Input, output, there we go. Hopefully I have this connected, right? I don't know. I don't know which output goes out of what on this thing. Stats, main. I don't know what those do. I mean, I guess I'm gonna have to turn it on to figure it, figure this out. Let's just turn it on real quick and then we could turn it off, I guess. nuclear waste. So I need a tube here. There we go. And then I can go like this. I can probably bring that nuclear waste over here. I think I have nuclear waste control containers. i just put that right there. And then this becomes just like kind of worked. I don't know why this one's not. 
like the input for that just worked and the what water is the liquid tube is for gas so that should if I go like this output waste oh here, let's just put this right here and then configure this to push oh it's not connecting to this no matter what all right what do we need to do with this waste we need to take the waste out into a iso Isofink Centaur, and we get plutonium. Okay. Let's do that. The machines here are extremely loud. Alright. So, if we put that right there, and then we get a point, put it right there, and then change this as a gas input. And then let's undo. Output waste. A stupid cable. Alright, that worked. Okay, so if you use the configurator on the little gray square, you can change the output. That should be getting steam, I think. Oh, that's nuclear waste. There we go. So that should be steam. There we go. That's what it looks like to me. There we go. And the steam already filled up that bucket. Okay, this is probably... Uh, we're just going to let that sit. Alright, let's go back over here. We got, we got some nuclear waste. Uh, that's going to become plutonium. Nuclear waste, plutonium. Which we... <laughs> Jesus. Uh, we need a... Let's see. Pressurized reaction chamber. Turn that into a plutonium pellet. I think that's what we needed, right? Plutonium pellet. All right. We only need one of these things. Because <laughs> we can just uh, make multiple. So, uh, pressurized reaction chamber. Of course, I don't have that one bookmarked. What is this thing? Oh, this one does the same thing. What's the difference? What is the difference between these? Solar neutron activator versus... Alright. So, pressurized reaction chamber. that one for some reason must already be on my list over here I don't see it though for sure chamber there it is Of those so we don't have 
to do that again. There we go. So, from here... Can I... I love that. Now, if you, if you sneak, you can see what is coming out. So the plutonium comes out as a gas. So we're going to go like this, kind of route it over this way. And we're going to pop that right there. All right. And then this is going to become input gas. So we should be getting plutonium in here. Uh, we're going to need another sink, I guess. do have a sink over here I can use real quick. I just don't want to have another pipe going around here. Guide that. And then that can make our sink. I don't know if there's like a draw on the, how much the sink can produce. Alright, show recipes. Yeah, it's water. Water plus... Fluorite dust. All right, so the sink there. The sink is a pipe, so this is gonna go right there. And we're going to pull from there, fill that up. All right, plutonium plus water, and then we need a we need an exporter. Export there, then the cable, rig this to our system, and then we need fluoride dust, which for some reason we actually do have some. Uh, we're going to put that in there, and we're going to probably want three speed upgrades, and a stack upgrade. There we go. Perfect. Now, we need power. Right there. So we have plutonium. This machine is not powered, is it? No. Because we put the power in the wrong spot. But can change that and make you and then you should be able to take it oh my god this is a annoying building to place this stuff on there we go nuclear waste is being processed plutonium should be going in. This needs to be set to items. Input items right there and fluoride dust. All right. Oh my gosh. All right. Oh, I think we got it going. Uh, we just need here, let's go over here so that humming stops. All right, so we just need one plutonium pellet, and we can uh, go put those in the creative uh, drawer, and we don't have to worry about that anymore. That's going to give us spent nuclear waste, which uh, is going to be whatever that is. And then uh, next episode is going to be the search for lithium, which uh, is going to be actually kind of kind of a pain I'll have to, I'm going to have to look on the wiki for that one I think but I think we can make that one back at the base alright we got that we got a, a whole bunch of machines going here a whole bunch uh, we got a lot of fuel we got everything going as long as we can get one plutonium pellet at some point in time so I'm going to let this go for a few 
while this gets up. I think we need a thousand of this. And it's just not generating fast enough. So I'm going to let this go and then we'll uh, finish up the episode once we get that. Alright, so <laughs> it made one. It made a plutonium pellet. But it is not the right one. Uh, so this one is used... So there's plutonium and plononium. Uh, that's what the issue is. Uh, plononium. I, I'm totally... I made the wrong machine, so uh, I think this one has to be a different one. Uh, waste plutonium, plononium. So we need this solar neutron activator instead. Uh, so yeah, I had that one bookmarked, and I just made the wrong one. I didn't realize that they were two different uh, chemicals. So here we go. We'll just uh, delete this one and pop this one in its place. Oh shit! What is going on? Whoa! All right, we got a uh, some nuclear waste. <laughs> Something going on. That's crazy. Uh, oh, I can't go back over there. Uh huh. Well, that's fun. Didn't think about that, did I? Uh, let me see. I made my I made my base far enough. I mean the that far enough away. Is there like a hazmat suit or something I can use? As, oh yeah, there is a hazmat. So. Jeez, what is that? Is it all the way over here? Is there something hitting me? I don't see any debuffs on me, so I don't know. Oh, I can't. Did it go all the way over here? I can't tell. All right, let's go uh, see if we can get closer. We just need to get this machine in, I guess. Oh, I already put it down, so. All right, let's put this one on. We won't be able to jetpack. Is there more hazmat that I'm missing? There's hazmat boots. Okay, there we go. That should make it easier. Here, let's turn off the cosmetic. All right, we should be able to fix this really quick. All right, configurator. Uh, it's items for some reason. All right, this thing is not even going in the right direction. that why does it not uh why is it not accepting what I want jetpack on so we can't get over this stuff all right uh oh god uh let's get a brick start building everything out of the 
obsidian. Okay, how do I get the nuclear waste in? There's a bunch of nuclear waste in the tube. Seeing more and more nuclear waste. I think I'll eventually die, <laughs> so we just gotta figure out why it won't let me uh, pipe this junk in. Alright. Nuclear waste is a tube, so the tube connects to that. Now let's move a little bit. It doesn't show any debuffs or anything, so I don't know what's going on with that. Um, and, and do any of these sides like have configurability? Oh, jeez. Yeah, I got radiation now. Let's see. Let's change this back to gases. See if this helps. Yeah, none of these sides seem to activate for. Uh... Oh my god. I have all the hazmat stuff on. Now let's just get away from it for a few seconds. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. We're at like an hour long and this is going to take me a little bit to figure out how to uh, actually get this stupid machine to work. So uh, let's go. Let's get an awesome hazmat suit look here since we're going to probably die. Uh, thank you for watching and have a great day.